Alright guys, welcome back to another video and today we have an update for the Galaxy A7 as you can see and the new firmware is available so this is actually the new Android version 5.0.2 for my A7 and as you can see it's the old build version OE1 and the latest one is OI8 and XME is my region so we're going to click here and the size is around 1.4 gigs so make sure enough space and takes on 10 to 20 minutes 3 gigs of space is required and also what else available space in device will be decreased by at least 150 MB depending on the number of apps you install your device so just to take note of this you will lose some space when you upgrade to lollipop so if you don't lose those space, you can just stay with KitKat. And what else? Uh, if you update from KitKat to Lollipop, obviously you can't upgrade to, to the uh, software once the update is complete. So if you update to Lollipop, you won't be able to, to use KitKat anymore. So if you like KitKat, then you should stick with it. So it will take on 10 to 30 minutes. And yeah, so I'm going to continue on here. I have enough battery, by the way. I have more than 50% and I have enough storage. So let's continue. And the ASM update will begin. All right, so I've done all this already, so don't need to worry. I've done everything. I've backed out my data just in case. And yeah, let's continue on the update. All right, so now it's gonna prepare the updates for the A7. And the reason why I use this uh, keys tree to update is because for some reason the OT update is not working for my phone. It still says the latest version, but actually it's not true. But that's why I use this software to update. So yeah, if you can't update using the OTA update, try this because you will get the updates directly from Samsung it's themselves. So yeah, you don't have to worry about delayed updates. And yeah, obviously this is safer than wireless. So I prefer to use this to update instead of the Wi-Fi. Anyway guys, this is going to take some time. So I'll be right back once the software update is finished and I'll be seeing you guys on the phone itself after this. So I'll see you guys in 10 minutes. Alright guys, we are back and I've just updated the phone as you can see. My phone is here. Oops, sorry. And here we have the A7, you can see full aluminium backing, which is means that the battery can't be removed. Very slim and sleek look. So this is the A7 and this is the gold gold color. And let's go and check the Android version here that we're running on. Okay, let's go to system of the device and as you can see here I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see the numbers oh come on it's not focusing alright here so my device actually is the SMA 700 FD which means this is a Snapdragon variant it's come to Snapdragon 615 and here you can see Android version 5.0.2 you can run the Easter egg here you can see here here's the Easter egg and we hold on for a while we get the game and anyway let us continue on here and we got a baseband version of a700 fd xxui b018 which i told you is a new version i mean b o i8 sorry yeah so this is the new version and let us go back and show you what are the new things that we're gonna get with this uh lollipop update Right, so let us take a look at the new apps that we get. So let's go to apps, and we can see here. We go to the right. We can see a new app here for Smart Manager, which is pre previously seen on most devices like the Galaxy S6 and the Note 5. So we can see this uh, application is pretty nice and simple. It shows you the battery, storage, RAM, and security. So now I have 45% battery and now we can see uh, our battery percentage and the time remaining. For now it's still learning by the way, so we can optimize our apps as well. It's pretty nice, you can see all the apps that is now optimizing by itself and the ones that are disabled. So you can manage them here or you can just turn it off if you don't even use it. So pretty nice. And on storage, we can see our total use storage and available storage is gonna come soon here hopefully as it's scanning and oh, there we go you can see we have a few uh, we have 7.29 GB free storage and here we can delete unnecessary data if you wish to delete so I'm gonna just gonna clear my cache you can see how it does it and it's powered by clean master that's nice and we got one MB of free space which is pretty cool 
and here we can delete unused files and applications to fill more space but for now there's nothing let's go to ram and now we can see our ram in use and total available ram and all these apps that are using the ram now in the background see a lot of apps are using it so you just want to clear them all this uh end task and here we go it's cleaning up all the apps that are not used and we got about 638 mb of free ram which is nice and now we got half back and lastly is device security for now they say scan needed but i'll do that later and you can see here it's powered by intel uh, security so this is actually not an antivirus just an anti-malware so it really can't uh, do all the functions like antivirus can do but you can scan device if you can you want if you wish to scan for anything that is harmful it's available on this app and if you just want to clean everything just press clean all oh, sorry about that just press clean all and it should do the trick so pretty nice everything's done and now let's go to the multitasking button here as you can see and these are all our apps here and now it's like card based it's a bit nicer now it looks like more like a stock lollipop so we're gonna click all the apps just close it all pretty nice and now i'm gonna show you what is the new thing in this uh, lollipop update so we have a new material design so let's say we open youtube you can see the tinted uh, status bar i'm gonna show you here in a moment and here we go the status bar on top is now uh, red color last time we, we always see it's always black in all the apps so now it's fully red for those apps that support material design so mostly it's google apps you can see and also some of the samsung apps are also uh, use, uh, supporting it and let's see all right now let's check out the camera all right now let's check out the camera and let's see interface looks the same so let's just bring some objects here to take some photos so i'm going to show you Oh wait, it's tap to it's tap to take photos. Let's just disable that for now. Yeah, let's turn it off. Alright, so let us focus. It's quite okay. In terms of focusing. It's not that bad. And here's the quality. Pretty nice. Pretty sharp, even though low light. In terms of interface, nothing has changed actually, to be honest. We don't get anything new. Even the modes are the same. So yeah, nothing great in terms of the camera, which is sad. Alright, so what else? Uh, in terms of apps, that's about it actually. Nothing much. So let us uh, clear all the apps here just for a while. Oh yeah, by the way, the animations have uh, changed a bit as you notice. So let's just open some apps here and just close it up. And let's open the clock. And you can see it's a bit of difference in animations. So on the calculator and press home it's like a bit different compared to kitkat and let's go to the multitask multitasking tray you can see this press here a bit of animation is quite nice and there's not much delay actually it's pretty fast and we can also just swipe to clear the apps or we just clear all of it in one shot that's it anyway guys so that's about it for this video actually uh, for this a7 lollipop update so I'll be testing it for a few days to see the battery is it very good or not or worse right now it's at 43% uh, I'll test it out and make sure that the battery life is good or is it the same or not so yeah that's pretty much it guys so hopefully you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you do and by the way if you're looking for the firmware you want to know when is it going to come to your device there's a link down below in the description where, where I will show you the firmware links and also a live feed of all the firmwares that are currently updating for the A7 and also other devices so yeah you can check the link down below and if you can't wait to update your device you want to update now you can download this software called Samsung Keys I think you, you saw that in the previous uh, segment so you can uh, download that I'll put a link down below in the description as well so yeah that's pretty much it guys hopefully you enjoyed this update I mean this video as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.